Now I say maybe because we're kind of already confronted with our first little decision as to what car we're going to use. Most of these series do have multiple cars available. For example, here in the Drift Kings, we can use the Cortina or the Alpha GTA. Whereas here we can use the Cortina, the Mark II Jag, racing like a Sur, or alternatively the Mini. But if you use the Mini, you're pretty much gonna get destroyed. I, I don't, I don't see how it's ever gonna work, quite frankly. So the GTA here, the Alpha, is faster, but of course, because that's just convenient, it does cost more money. Yeah, which is not cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, well, you use the slightly less than ideal option, and by that I mean still just as cool. In fact, in my opinion, cooler, even though it's less ideal. And that is the Lotus Cortina, because how can you not like a Cortina? Like how? How can you not like that car? Just, just look at it. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Anyways. Let's go ahead and begin our Drift Kings Championship. First round will be here at Maggie Coor Club Circuit, which is a place that, uh, wow, you don't really hear of, of this track, like, ever anymore. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and practice and qualify and get back to the race. And conveniently enough, I've placed this car on pole position, which is kind of surprising. Maybe I'll need to stop qualifying. But this is actually one of the first series that GT Legends kind of establishes what half the game is really all about and what historic GT and touring car racing is. That's little car versus big car, as we got a Ford Falcon, a big car, and a Shelby GT350, another big car racing with us, tiny cars. Yay! Don't squish me, please. Please don't squish me. Anyways, where are the lights? There are the lights. Believe me. It does become a serious problem. Although, if you're at the front of the grid, you won't have that problem too terribly much. We do have a Cortina for backup, but as you can see, that Mustang with that horsepower, it's coming. It's, it's, it's coming. Oh, oh dearie me. Doing me. Let's get to the chicane really quick, bike. Yeah, you can already see that Falcon's up to up to third position. It is all a matter of just not screwing up, going as fast as possible through the corners because that is all you got. Downshifting in the corners, generally not a good idea. Just watching my mirrors. Stay back, beast! Stay back! You see, the thing in general, at least for me, this might apply to people differently, but in my experience, the cars that are faster are always way easier to race with. Because it's easier to pass in the straights rather than the corners. And here in GT Legends, you can still keep up with the smaller cars and one of the big cars when you're driving it yourself, but you get the huge straight line speed advantage. Whereas when you're stuck with one of the small cars racing one of the big cars, you're kind of fighting with one arm tied behind your back, even if you are perhaps actually faster. That is the fun. That is the cat and mouse. Just trying to make sure you're far enough ahead coming out of the corner that you don't get eaten alive going down the straight. do seem to be doing a fairly decent job with. Knock on wood. 
That is a little bit easier with the AI because they are a little bit stupid. Although you do have to be mindful that you don't end up taking a V8 up the backside as you cut them off in the brake zone. No, you don't. So obviously their brake zones are a lot longer because of the higher entry speed, because of the higher weight of the car, because of the less nimble handling. Try not to flip in that corner. And I really need to find a key to figure out how many laps are left. <laughs> you stay back there. Don't even think about it. Hey, there's no laps left. Yeah, they did indeed eat my dust. Especially that Mustang, because he's, like, right there. The whole race, just, like, right there. You can see just how much of a gap we got. Huge, huge gap. <laughs> Nine seconds faster over the course of a five-lap race. Okay, that seems a little unbalanced. But yeah. I think the Mustang would be a little bit faster if they could get around, but fortunately they didn't, and we scooped up 10 championship points. So let's go ahead and move on to this place. This place. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and practice and qualify, rejoin you guys for the race. And once again, we have managed to land pole position. Man, this is almost, almost easy. At least in qualifying. So let us go ahead and get on to the race. Once again, the, uh, the big cars are starting towards the back, but I bet they're up front by, like, uh, I don't know, turn turn one. And here on this track, the lights are somewhere over yonder, which I can't see. They're hidden by my A-pillar. So I'm just watching the cars behind me. They're all moving. Now I'm moving. Yep. Right over there on the right, those are the lights that you can't see. Because... Yeah. No. No. It's okay. We got a really tight right hand coming up here. We just outbreak all of the things. The Mustang just battering rams its way on home. Because you know what? Murica, that's why. Then when you get to the straights and it's it's just basically straight up Fast and Furious as you're like, No! Monica! Or whatever it is. It's just ridiculous. And that makes it awesome. Puts a smile on your face, it really does. You see the Mustang braking. We're pretty much flat out there. Sitting one up the inside. So much for not dive bombing, right? Sliding all over the place. Although, to be fair, when you're fighting a Mustang with a Cortina, you're gonna have to dive bomb because that's the only way you ever have a chance. It's just that simple. Shooting the braking. Getting stuck on the curb. Yeah, just shuffle that Mustang back. Because the next round of this championship is at Monza. Yay, yeah, right? Hey guys. Hey, yeah, exactly. 
So a win here would really help out in the championship towards getting Diamond Cups. Because that will mean that we're pretty much free from having to win Monza, which it, it's just not even close to a fair fight. Okay, horsepower reigns supreme there. At least here the small cars have a chance. We'll take, take advantage of that, hopefully. I have, I have changed the button, finally. So I see how many laps we've done. Well, apparently there's not a LCD display that tells you how many laps the race actually is, so you just kind of have to remember, which... You know, remember to remember for future reference, but hey. Stuff happens. Sliding. Oh yeah, 2.4 seconds. This is much easier than the last round. Much, much, much easier. For those of you guys who uh, hate the lack of animated spectators in modern racing games, there's some animated spectators in this game. Right back there in that hairpin. How many of you guys actually notice that? Sometimes you'll see their arms flailing, waving in the air. Sometimes they'll be taking pictures and all sorts of stuff. And dominating victory right there. I do believe the Mustang just came in third. Please tell me the Mustang came in third. Please tell me the Mustang came in third. Just hurry up and tell me the Mustang has come in third. The Mustang has come in third. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. And, yeah, we stomped the field. Yeah, we stomped the Deal with it. Deal with it. More points. We got a six-point lead heading into the final round, which means that we need to score... Four points. Ideally five, just to make sure. So, I think we need to finish fourth. Ten, eight, six. So, third, third, or fourth. I can't remember the point system exactly. So, sue me! But anyways, on to the next race. Alright, starting on the grid from last position, because I skipped qualifying. Not gonna lie. Monza Jr. Starting at the back here, there is a chicane exiting the parabolic onto the front stretch, which we will be using and abusing to uh, great effect, hopefully. Because <laughs> that is really the only chance you got. Um, please stay in your lane. That'd be great, thank you. A little sideways. The series is indeed called Drift King, so we should probably drift. Like I said, this track really doesn't suit the small cars at all. The Falcon is still pretty slow around here because of that chicane, but otherwise, you know, once we get in front of them, it's uh, pretty exciting going down the straights. Beep, beep. Gone. Just, just gone. <laughs> Which random comment? Historic NASCAR in GT Legends. Why is that not really a thing? That should have been a thing. I'm just saying. I'm not a huge, you know, NASCAR fan, but talking about 60s and 70s, yeah! We need more Superbirds. You can never go wrong with more Superbirds, ever. 
I mean, I'm talking about mining. Obviously, I understand official content-wise. The fact that this is based off a real-world series, but... Beep, beep. I wish I had a V8 just like the Ford Falcon. <laughs> I could go really fast in a straight line as opposed to this. That would be most excellent. Let's get a little sideways because reasons. Let's do this. Trying to read his bumpers. The older I get, the, sl the faster I was. I'm totally not paying attention to the road. But who does not like that saying? That's just like perfect on the back of a Lotus Cortina. Have at you! I'm God! up to third place. This is where we need to be. We are fine with third position. There's nothing wrong with that. And then again, if we can pick off another position, that would definitely be appreciated. More points, more better. do need to bring the car home. We do need to finish in third position. I think we can win it in fourth, but again, I'm not sure on the points. This is where a lot of people are going to be like saying, oh yeah, duh. But hey, not from my position. Just eat those curbs. That's the only chance we got. <laughs> this is my connected tow rope. It'd be great. That thing got a trailer hitch on it. Be, be swell. Not sure if that corner is second gear or third gear, but at this point, whatever gets us home. Well, I need to resist the urge to dive bomb the snot out of this Falcon going in the scan. This is so tempting. It's so tempting. Because even though I'm like 10 miles away, I think I could get there. Not even joking. Told you I could get there. <laughs> I just popped his tail ones out. Yeah. I'll show you. Show you for driving five miles an hour through this game. You know, us small guy, us small cars need to keep the speed up. You, you big cars can just go in and run two miles an hour through there, but we gotta keep that average speed high, man. Yay, third place. Anyways, give me my trophy. Ha! <laughs> ah, it's actually, it's actually fastest. That's funny. That's funny right there. I don't care who you are. That's funny. And there's our championship by two points over the Mustang guy. So give me that diamond cup again. Give me those thirty thousand creds. Yeah. So, anyways, two down, one to go.